The Kosas Cosmetic Concealers have landed. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Amy Chang, and here on Bond and Bond, I talk all about beauty, skincare, and cosmetic treatments. And today, I'm so excited because I'm going to be doing an in-depth review on Kosas Cosmetics' brand new concealer that launches or launched, launched today. As you guys know, if you follow me on Instagram, I'm a huge fan of Kosas Cosmetics. What I love so much about them is they really kind of blur the lines between skincare and makeup. They're good for the skin, they hydrate, they enhance, they don't just cover, but they actually improve the skin. And their concealer stays very much true to that ethos. In this video, I'm gonna do a brief rundown of the product, then I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like with foundation, and without because I'm one of those girls that I like to use concealer sometimes when I don't want to wear foundation when I just want to touch up a little bit here a little bit there and then the last thing is I'm going to show you guys a few swatches so I was gifted three shades out of the 16 shades three 3.5 and 4 and so I want to show you that color range side by side. Okay guys, let's dive right in. First, let's talk about the actual concealer itself. It's a creamy formulation, which I really like a lot. I'm all about creamy and smooth. When the concealer is too watery or too thick, it's kind of like ugh, you need something for good coverage and blendability that's going to be creamy. So love that. The other thing that's great about it is that it has hyaluronic acid for increasing hydration so you don't get that cakey look. I hate it when that happens with concealer. And really it's because your skin is dry so it's trying to absorb moisture from your products. And if your products don't have hydrating ingredients in them, what's going to happen is your skin's going to soak up the moisture from them and you're going to get the like powdery... Um, pigments of the color left and then you get that cakey look so I love that they include hyaluronic acid they also include peptides which are like it's kind of like vitamin C and retinol like peptides are like a gold standard ingredient in the skincare world because it's just it's proven it's backed by science clinical studies and trials that peptides stimulate collagen plump the skin really are like a very anti-aging ingredient. So love that that's in there. They also include Arnica in this concealer, which is really great for reducing inflammation, redness, and irritation. I When I used to get lip fillers, I would do Arnica gel on my lips because it would take the swelling down like that. So the concealer also includes caffeine which is fantastic if you are trying to promote microcirculation in the skin, reduce puffiness, reduce redness. There's actually an amazing caffeine serum by the Inkey List that's phenomenal for dark under eyes. It's only $9.99. I'll link it up down below, but that's for another video. But it's just caffeine works so well to help reduce puffiness and just improve the overall look of your skin. So they include that one. They also include pink algae extract which has antioxidant properties and protects your skin from free radicals. And as you guys know, free radicals cause oxidation and skin damage and aging and blah, 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 blah. So it's great to have something in a makeup item that helps to protect us. Okay, that's like a little rundown about the actual concealer itself. So now I wanna show you guys the concealer in action. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you what it looks like on bare skin, just spot treating a couple areas. That's actually the way I like to use concealer the most frequently on a day-to-day -day basis because I don't have time to do a full face of foundation. And sometimes I don't even want to wear a full face of foundation. I just want to cover up like some little red spots or a little acne scar here or there. There's nothing on my skin, just, you know, eye and lipstick, but my face is totally clean. Now the shade I'm going to use is three. Okay. I'm gonna get a little closer. Do, do, do. Okay, so my problem area is always like around my nose, redness, a little bit around my mouth where I have some red acne scars. Okay, I'm gonna do a little bit at a time because I don't want it to dry and get um, like harder to blend. Oh, and I have a pimple here. Yay! <laughs> so as you guys can see, it has a creamy formulation and it just blends in seamlessly. Now, one thing I noticed that's different from the tinted face oil is that this product actually does fine on top of skincare products or primers that have silicones in them. I found with the tinted face oil that you really don't want to apply it on top of 
anything with silicones because silicone creates a barrier and the tinted face oil is meant to be partially absorbed into the skin because it contains all those beautiful botanical oils that absorb in and make it a little bit more like a lived in look and it makes it long lasting but if there's a barrier and those oils can't absorb then they just kind of sit on top of the skin and you get like a little streaky look that's one thing that I know with the tinted face oil it's really important to always apply it on bare skin or even on top like if you use a face oil instead of a moisturizer that works really well and definitely don't use a primer with it but with this concealer I actually I think because it has like a creamier formulation and there's not it's not as oily that it does fine on top of moisturizers that have silicones in them um, it does fine on top of primers like it's just very very natural it is a medium coverage but it doesn't make you look heavy or cakey at all so now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like underneath the eyes now the best way to do concealer under the eyes and the head I think it's, he's the head makeup artist for Surratt um, he was telling me this at an event recently so you want to do a dot on the inner corner and a dot on the outer corner because that way you don't use too much and then you just slowly blend it in from both ends and that way there's only just a tiny bit of product that actually ends up like in this area under directly underneath your eye which is where it gets the cakiest so it just does a really nice job to just kind of brighten up the eyes there I'm gonna do the same thing on the other eye Sometimes for under eyes, I actually like to go lighter with my concealer. So I'll get one concealer that's just for my face, and then I'll use another concealer that's for my eye area. Now I'm just going to go around and do a few more little spots. Because I have so many acne scars. Okay, so this is typically what I would do if I wasn't going to wear a full face of makeup, but just wanted like a little coverage. And you guys can tell that the setup's definitely it's different than what I have been doing in the past for my videos. But the reason is because I really think it's so important with foundation, concealers, whatever, that you guys see it in natural daytime lighting. Because that's how you live your life, you're out in the world. So you need to make sure that it looks good in daylight. Okay. So that's typically what I would do if I'm just going out to run errands on a Saturday and I want my skin to look a little bit better but not covered. And it looks great. It feels really nice too. I think that's the other thing I like about it. It has like a slightly matte satiny finish. It kind of feels a little powdery and smooth. And it seems to not absorb like the tinted oil does. Like it has a creaminess, it absorbs a tiny bit, but it actually just stays put. So this is what it looks like just using the concealer on bare skin without anything else. And now I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on top of foundation. So I'm gonna use the closest tinted oil and then I'm gonna put the concealer on top. So I washed my face again, nothing on it, which is how I like to apply the tinted face oil. Maybe I'll do like a face mist or a little bit of a face oil if I feel, I'm feeling extra dry. But one thing I love so much about the tinted face oil is that it's so hydrating on its own that you really don't need to have anything on your face. It does a great job at hydrating it. Let's do it. I'm gonna use the number three. And you really wanna make sure to shake it a lot. Now, I'm just gonna use a tiny little drop because that is all you need with this and that's one th reason why I love it so much. And then I just like to do like a few little dots like this. But when it's on top of bare skin, oh my God, it just glides like silk. There are times where I've applied a really thick moisturizer and then I saw later that it has, you know, silicones in it. And I was wondering, I was like, why does this look so streaky? Like, why is this just kind of like gliding around, not like sinking in? So look at that, I just like feel so smooth and so nice, okay. And that is literally one drop for that side. And the nice thing about it too is it is buildable. So I'm, I want like a little more coverage right here where I have like some marks and that's all you do. And I, it was in like one drop was even too much to do that. I'm gonna like move a little bit over here. But this tinted face oil just lasts forever. Okay, so now I have the tinted face oil on and it actually does such a great job like evening out my skin tone. I don't really need that much concealer anymore, but I'm gonna show you guys what it looks like on top of it. So, just do like this little pimple over here and let's do the under eye area 
around the nose and you don't need a lot but i mean the two just kind of blend together i think they really did a good job at making sure the formulas work together all right so that was to give you guys an idea of what the foundation looks like or sorry the concealer what the concealer looks like on bare skin and what it looks like on top of foundation and now i want to compare the three shades that i was gifted three 3.5 and 4. I'm going to show you what it looks like with all three swatched side by side. 3.0 is for someone who's a little, who is fair but has a slightly cool undertone. 3.5 is for someone who's fair but has neutral undertones. And then 4 is someone who's fair but has warmer undertones. A little bit of a beige. Alright guys, thank you so much for checking out this video and for more on beauty, skincare, and cosmetic treatments, make sure to hit that subscribe button.